welcome back to my channel. So I had zero intentions of making this video today. I didn't even have any plans to go to Ikea. And then this morning, my friend Isis texted me and asked me if I wanted to go to Ikea. And if you know me, you know I love Ikea and I literally cannot say no, my body will not let me. So I went to Ikea today. I got a bunch of stuff for our apartment. Some of the stuff I knew I did need and I actually was gonna make a trip to, out to Ikea at some point. But some of the stuff I got in there and I was just like, that. I want that. I know where it's going to go. It's going to look great. And so I got a bunch of stuff. I literally went in with a list of four things and came out with a bunch. So I'm really excited to show you. Also, can we take a moment? It is 8 p.m. in my apartment and look at this natural light. I don't have a single light on in here. I love it. I love it so much. I'm very excited. <sighs> just jump into the items I got for Ikea to complete our apartment. I can't wait to show you guys my finished apartment door. It's so good. I love it so much. If you watched my last Ikea video, you would have seen that I got one of these baskets. These are trash cans and they clip like that and then like this and they're sticky on the back. They also have places for screws. I got this. We have like a very awkwardly small closet that is literally that wide. I didn't measure this or anything when I got the first one. I just bought it on a whim. It fits freaking perfectly. Like it was literally meant to be there. So I ended up getting two more of these that I'm gonna put in the closet with it so that way I can store more things away in there and it's a better use of the space. I also got a level. We don't have a level and we've been using like the iPhone level and I just don't think it's accurate and I'm really bad at hanging things because I always do them not level and then Alex ends up having to rehang them. Mm. So finally got like an actual level we can use when we hang stuff because none of our stuff is hung in the apartment yet except for the step stool behind me but everything else needs to be hung still so we'll have a level to be able to get everything up the first time and get it up correctly. Also I got another pegboard. I'm literally obsessed with that first pegboard we got. It is so cool. We need to get it hung. I'm not in love with like the configuration of our bedroom right now. I might change it, but I realized I want a pegboard on either side to be the bedside table because we ended up using the plant table, not this one in there. And we just need somewhere to be able to put phones and water and simple stuff like that. I'm going to make it work, but I love the pegboard. They were also sold out of tons of stuff today and they didn't have a single pegboard accessory. Like they didn't have any of the hooks or anything. So I've seen that you can buy those off Amazon. I think there's like a big pack of like tons of different pegboard accessories for pretty cheap. So I might end up getting that just depending on like what I end up doing with it. I'm not sure. Also got this on a whim. We currently have two frying pans. We have like a bigger one and then a small one. And now that we have a dishwasher and we're home, both of us 24 seven, it'll be nice to just have another frying pan on hand for when both of our frying pans are dirty and in the dishwasher because I don't want to run the dishwasher with not a full load, but I need frying pans more often than that. So they have this pack. It's two frying pans. Okay, I need to put the handle on this one, but one's like a little size, like that'd be good for like eggs and stuff. And this one's just a little bit bigger, but it was $6.99 for this set. I thought this would be great just to have. My other ones are nicer and will probably be my primary use ones, but I'll have these so I can use them when the other ones are dirty already. And for $6.99, I just cook too much and I need more frying pans in my life. I have been wanting this so bad in the last Ikea we went to, it was sold out and that is the fix up cord organizers. This has like everything Thing you could possibly need to organize cords and hold them in place and just make them look more put away. I'm super, super excited about this. I'm really excited about this for our neon light because there's the long cords that hang down and it drove me crazy in my last apartment. And so now I finally have something so I can put them down properly. We're getting a desk and I want to be able to hide all the TV cords and the computer cords that are going to be on it. I'll have this just to be able to completely hide it away. We ended up getting two of them. One of them I'm going to give to Alex's little brother. He's like a total tech guy and he loves hiding all of his cords. So Sam, if you're watching this, this is going to be your Christmas present. I was super excited that they finally had these back in stock. Everything else I totally got on a whim and I didn't actually need, but I'm very excited that I got it. I got two more of the dishcloths. I usually pick up a couple of these every time I go. They're 79 cents each. I have a ton of them, but the one I have hung up right now is just super dirty and stained. So I'm going to throw that one away. Got two new ones that are white and they're just super easy for 79 cents. Like I don't care what my dishcloths look like. I don't want anything fancy or patterned anyways. Like the just white with the red stripe is totally fine by me. And that way I use them a ton and when they're dirty, and gross, I can get rid of them and get new ones and it's not really a big deal. I also got two of the big down pillows. These are the comfiest pillows ever. We have them on our couch here. We have them on our couch in Arizona. These down pillows are super, super nice. The down ones are $10, whereas the non-down ones, like the synthetic ones, I don't know what they are, are seven. So they're slightly more expensive, but I swear these are the comfiest pillows ever. I'm gonna stick mine in the dryer for a bit just to fluff 
them up a bit more, but they end up super fluffy, super soft. The reason I got them is because we don't have a headboard on our bed right now, and I don't think we'll have one. We didn't have a headboard in our last apartment, and it was fine. But I would like to have two giant pillows behind the regular pillows, I guess, to act as a headboard, so that way we can use them if we're sitting in bed. But they also will be like throw pillows, but I kind of have a gripe against throw pillows because they're just decorative, and I need things to have function too. And so this will be like decoration, but also super functional. So I got two of those, and then the covers that I decided to get on them. The colors are like this linen beige, woven linen, which is really pretty. And then it's cool because you like tuck your pillow into it. And so part of your pillow is covered by this lining that is striped and then you tie these. So it looks like you have like a stripey pillow on the inside that's like kind of poking out, but it's all the pillowcase. It's super cute. I'm very into like the linen right now. I would love to get a duvet cover that looks like that, but they are heinously expensive. So I won't be getting one, but I think these will be nice and they're pretty neutral and cute and simple to go on the back of the bed. I also picked up a vanilla candle. I kind of hate the way that all Ikea candles smell. This one even, it just smells like Ikea. Honestly, it doesn't even smell like vanilla. It smells like Ikea, but they're super cheap. I think this candle was $2.99 for this. So I do like the vanilla one more than I like any of the other scents. I don't really like the other ones at all. The vanilla one's pretty good. And then also once it burns out, I kind of want to use this little tiny glass jar as a pot and put plants in it for $2.99. Can't go wrong. And then the last thing I got was totally on a whim. I don't remember how much it said it was originally. I think it was like $7 or something. It now was on sale for $1.99. So it's this felty thing and it is an organizer. So there's different slots in it. And this is like a rod. So you can like hang it over something. Like you could hang it in your couch or whatever to have it organized and be able to put things in it. So I'm deciding I might use it on the couch and put the remote and stuff in it. But honestly, we just don't have that much around our couch that I need to put away. But I'm also thinking I can tuck this into my bed frame. I think this can go under the wooden slats and then this might serve as the bedside table for one of our bedsides and then I might use the pegboard somewhere else. So I'm not sure, but for $1.99, this feels really high quality. I was like, I gotta get it. I gotta give it a shot. I just don't know. Oh, I almost forgot. I thought that was my last thing, but it's not because I got something totally on a whim that I'm very excited for. <sighs> She's heavy. Oh, she a big girl. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall over. I got the Hector lamp. This lamp literally looks like the Pixar lamp. Like the head of it is huge. Let's see if I can open it. Hello, how do you open? This is the giant lampshade. So it's huge. It's really tall and it's a floor lamp, which I've never done because I literally just don't have a floor space. But I think this will fit perfectly. I kind of want to tuck it behind in like under the couch and then have this like over the back of the couch kind of thing. So I'm going to set that up tonight, see how I like it. But that was totally on a whim. Our apartment is awesome. Love it so much. The ceilings are really effing high. But the downfall of that is our only light in here is our ceiling light and it is literally 16 feet in the air. The lighting doesn't feel super cozy. It almost feels like warehouse-esque. So I need more lamps and cozy warmer light like closer down to the ground to make it feel a little bit more warm and a little less industrial warehouse. All right, that was my Ikea haul for today. I literally didn't even plan on going, but I'm so glad I did because I love everything I got. I'm super excited. If you have any questions about any of these products, please comment down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, go on over to my Instagram, follow me over there. I do post every single day over there so you can see tons more content from me. Also, feel free to shoot me a message. I love it interacting with you guys. It's been so much fun. And of course, if you haven't already, please hit the big red subscribe button down at the bottom. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.